So hello guys and welcome back to Learning MG. So today I'm going to show you a quick uh, video of the MacBook Air 15 uh, inches. So basically, most of you have asked me how do you charge it. Well, it's gone back to the usual uh, charger, the one that you had in previous models. You don't have the actual USB-C. So that's first thing first. Then you've got also got um, a lot of uh, actual um, battery life. You've got also uh, a lot of um, a quality of RAM and uh, gigabytes. I mean, this is the chip M1. It works pretty fine. The graphics are amazing. You've also got a, a good, decent, um, let's say, keyboard. Remember the last time you had the touch uh, pad right here, which I personally didn't like, and it had a, a lifespan much shorter than your usual keyboard. Then overall, you've got uh, every single accessibility item you can think of. You've got it right here. So you've got Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, AirDrop, just like you would in your, in your normal iPhone. So yeah, it's kind of like uh, an iPad Pro, which you've already got in this uh, in this channel, but uh, taken to the next level. So everything's just a little bit turned up. So let's say you've got better graphics, better memory, better keyboard, better battery life, and better computer per se. The only th a disadvantage I will say is a lot of money, and for that money, maybe I would buy the MacBook Pro 14 inches, but that's my personal opinion. You just put a little bit of mo mo more money. You buy the previous model to the new one. So let's say in September, you get a new model. You buy the previous one, which is still an amazing MacBook Pro M2 chip, and I would do that. I, w I think the MacBook Air is very good, but I still prefer the MacBook Pro. Uh, I don't want to get into too much technical detail, but in summary, I think it's a better, uh, more um, kind of capable uh, computer if needed. So if the situation comes and you need a better um, MacBook, then the Pro is the better alternative, uh, independent on whether right now you need or not this this kind of, of actual um, uh, uh, well uh, capability. Remember that uh, MacBook Pros, I've had mo most of my MacBook Pros for five, 10 years. So I think that's a pretty, pretty good uh, lifespan. And, and that's how, what you should take into, into consideration. So if you like this video, as always, uh, click the thumbs up. This was more of a, an opinion uh, based on objective facts, but it's still an opinion. So you, as always know, it's, it's what you guys ask and I try to answer. So if you like this video, as always, please give the thumbs up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel because it will really help the YouTube algorithm. And if you've got any questions, as always, you know, leave them in the comments below.